Hi, I'm David M with Next Level Gents. Today, I'm going to share with you two ways to fold your dress shirts. The first method is perfect for travel, and the second is best for storing in drawers and shelves. In general, it's best to hang your dress shirts. However, it's not always possible. If you're traveling, you'll have to pack it in a suitcase or backpack. And if your closet is small, you'll likely need to fold them and place them in the drawers. When you're folding your dress shirts, the most important thing is to prevent wrinkles. While you can't eliminate wrinkles, the way you fold your dress shirt determines whether or not it's extremely wrinkled. Before folding your dress shirt, the first thing you must do is ensure that it's all buttoned up. Then flip it over and make sure the entire shirt is flat. The first method is a travel fold, which is narrower and easier to pack. To do it, fold the sleeves across the back and fold up each sleeve in the middle until the cuff reaches the collar. They'll stack on top of each other. Then you'll fold the sides to cover the sleeves and they'll overlap. The final step is to fold the bottom of the shirt up. The second method is a drawer fold. It's wider and flatter, which is perfect for storing in drawers or shelves. To do it, fold the sleeves across the back then fold each sleeve up until the cuff reaches the collar. They'll be side by side. Then fold the sides in to cover the sleeves. They'll meet in the middle and they won't overlap. Lastly, fold the bottom of the shirt up three times and you're finished. Folding your dress shirts is quick and easy. The key is to have a flat surface and keep everything as flat as possible while you're folding it. Now you know how to do it the right way. Your shirts will be less wrinkly and they won't take up too much space. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.